Here we are, red prison in front of us, and we're actually gonna try something a little bit different here today. So, typically we played red prison, we play pyro prison, which typically means rabble master's main, red prison locks, so on and so forth. This time, this time we're doing something different. We're gonna take it real hard on the blood moon plan. We're gonna see if that pays off, but we're gonna have a bit of a scred kind of feel with the top end of our planeswalkers. And then if everything in this column doesn't matter, and maybe some of these sweepers, we're gonna bring in the package of speed. Eidolons, Rabble Masters, Hazard, Storm Breath, and an extra Chandra Awaken Inferno. This will be a Karnless build. I think Karn is probably a little bit more powerful, but I wanna give the Chandras a shot here. And we're just gonna give it a shot. What's up, Dan? Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, I got a regular size Jesse. Apparently I got a, an emote. What is this? Hype, hyper hate, hyper haste. Look at that. I just said about hasty things. Check out that timing. That's right. All right, what's up, radio sized? Check that out, look at them, them emotes. Let's get started, nothing new here. Nine ritual, 21 lands, all the good stuff. Chandra Hearts in here, Chandra Awaken Inferno. We have Chandra Torch of Defiance. I'm gonna leave Cawthon. A lot of people have been talking about Cawthon in the Discord, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. I do have Double Hazard right here on the sideboard. I've got a random Storm Breath here. We'll see how that works. Let's play some magic. Let's play some magic. We'll see how far we get here tonight. Got a bit of a headache. Storm came in. Brain feels like it's gonna explode. Gonna play some magic. Then maybe a little bit of draft in arena. And then I don't know. Hit my head against the pillow. You trophied Legacy last night with Prison, so I had to watch some Fluffy since I have the chance. Nice, congrats on your trophy. Definitely Legacy has got Red Prison's definitely a lot more cemented in that format. We uh, try to force it through when we uh, play modern from time to time. But, but, it does what it needs to. It does what it needs to. All right, game one, we're against Ivan. We get to play first. I think we'll keep. We'll keep, we got a Chalice, we have a Blood Moon, we've got two Planeswalkers. Yeah, we'll see how the Tomes play out. Tomes have been talked about a lot recently, and I'm, I'm kinda curious how they'll play out. Kinda curious, we'll see, we'll see. If we run into Burn a lot, Chalices and Maze Mines will be good. If we run into Control a lot, our entire sideboard will be good. This opponent's mold to five makes me wonder if they're Tron. Makes me also wonder if they know who I am and then they're like, Blood Moon, <laughs> gotta avoid. We'll find out. Wooded Foothills, the opener, Kraken, Basic Forest, and a Utopia Sprawl. It's pretty good, pretty good. All right, Blood Moon's not as strong here. Not ideal to pick up a six drop. So Pons is one of our weaker matchups. We'll see though, we'll see. See how it goes. Chalice on one can stop bolts, Arbor Elves, Utopia Sprawls. Won't stop much if it gets pillaged here though. Ren and Six, that's pretty good for them. They're gonna get to fetch once, play a land and then use this again. After that, it's done. Hitting a land would be nice. Hitting a ritual effect would be great. None of the above, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and play the Blood Moon. My opponent can ramp one more time here. They can get up to four. This is gonna be up to five. This Koth is feeling good. Could Koth down tick Chandra. We would lose Koth to a ping here, but then that would allow us to get the Chandra Awakened in front of the next turn. Doing so though only puts us up to five and being at five, who knows, maybe, maybe we don't get the Awakened Inferno in. God of Destiny is here. Ah, shoot. All right. It was not the mountain we wanted, but we can play Koth here and we can swing four at Ren and six here. 
I don't think there's a reason to down tick here because Koth guarantees Chandra probably next turn. We'll go ahead and hit for <clears throat> four at Ren and six, although I could be just going four at them. I'm gonna hope Koth sticks around for a turn here, but it's unlikely, I think. One glory bringer and we're in trouble. Bolt doesn't do anything. Oh my gosh, I have an opportunity here. Do I just play Chandra Awaken Inferno? I could play Chandra Torch and then hit this. My opponent did nothing that turn. Let's play the Torch of Defiance here. Only because my opponent did pretty much nothing. And then we can use Koth here as well. Let's go ahead and hit the Renin 6 here. That way we don't get pinged. We're going to do two here, Maze Mind, Scry Away, pass the turn. We can bottom this. I don't need that card. We've got Sweetheart here. Two damage gain two here. We're going to race a Kloithis. I think we can do that. Season Pyromancer is definitely not going to do it. Get sort of a Utopia and a Blood Moon. Couple, couple things here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play Chandra with an Emblem Koth here. These are elemental tokens, so this <laughs> this board wipe doesn't actually board wipe. Maybe I emblem Chandra just pick this off and go up here. This would go up to play the Chandra into play. Let's take a scry here, see what else is coming here. That Slagstorm would have been a little bit better to have. We can also scry to see if this makes sense. <sighs> sort of makes sense now. <laughs> sort of makes sense just to go up here. Happy Monday. I'm gonna put this on top. So it's probably just emblem here, up with the Chandra, put this into play, and then I can shoot one of the elementals if I need to. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we have a six drop here. We're going to stop on my turn for the upkeep to try to get the maze mind going here. We are at 16. This is almost at an emblem too, though. Whoops, it's prison time. <laughs> it's at least what we're trying to do. Trying to lock out our, our, our Ponza friend over here. Pillage can undo this really rapidly. Question is, are they playing as many pillages? Scrying for a land. We'll take that land. We'll take that land. Oh, oh, they're done. They don't want to be in prison anymore. Okay, cool story here. We can take all of our blood moon effects out and we can just bring in the disaster for them. I actually sort of want to take the maze mines out. Maybe the Chandra doesn't make sense here. Let's see here. So this is, this is a good six. Seven. What's up, Uncle DB? Seven, can I find four more slots here? 
I almost just want to treat this like I do Mardu. Awaken Inferno is probably not worth it, but Heart is probably worth it. That'd be one Eidolon. Can I find three more slots here? Probably a pair of Angers. And one bridge. Nah, let's do let's do one ritual effect. All these out, all of these in. <laughs> let's try this. Full on, basically go from lockout to uh, <laughs> punish. That's the idea. Because I'm so sick and tired of having these matchups where game two and game three, I'm still trying to lock them out where an aggressive plan would make much more sense. Uh, this hand's not keepable. One lands. One lands no good. Mulligan. Aggressive hand, though. Yeah, it's basically transformational. Which makes it kind of fun. I want to keep this one. Land, land. Ritual out Rabble Master. Maybe a third land, Ritual Out Hazard. Do I keep Chandra here or do I ditch Bridge? I kind of want to ditch Bridge and try to get the heart working. Let's go for this. Experimentation time. Do we need to lock them out? I have a feeling they'll have Artifact Removal. They'll probably have an Abrade. Won't that look funny? Basic Forest. Basic Utopia Sprawl. The scariest thing here would be a couple stone rain effects in a row. Alright, we do hit our land. You love the new Chandra? Like, this Chandra might actually work really well against this opponent. We'll see, though. Oh, mismatched. Oh, God of Destiny. God of Destiny. You know what? We're going just up the chain. Eidolon, Rabble Master, Hazard, Chandra. That's the plan. Up the curve. We'll have the Desperate Ritual to help us get Chandra if we need to. A Bray. <laughs> Look at that. That bridge would have been bad. And they don't know it yet, but... Oh. 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 Could play this. Play that, shoot that. Get this Chandra going. Mm. I don't see why not here. I, I don't see why not. Stop them from really ramping here. God of Destiny hits nothing in the graveyard that ramps them. They're at three, maybe a fourth land here. Ritual. Ritual's gone. Two damage. They just pass it back. They just pass it back. Let's send the Rabble Master in. <laughs> whoa, 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 opponent. You're not allowed to Lightning Bolt Rabble Master. That's rude. I think here I just go up for damage. I'm just going to do that because what I have is I could get a Hazard if my opponent plays a Season Pyromancer, I can Slag Storm. Yeah, just two damage, let's go. Ditching the bridge did pay off. Oh, we hit the land, get the Hazard down. The combo. I don't even know if I bother here. I think it's damage all the way, every day. Damage, damage, damage. My opponent has sort of a, you know, missed a land drop. But I think they're dead here next turn. Arbor Elf. It's a cute blocker. That's a cute one. Deal two. Move this out of the way. One, two, three. Discard. Hit four, six. Pass turn. <clears throat> this puts them to five, this is three, this is two, so we win on that merit. This will gain them two life, this adds the extra two. We could search Graveyard Library for any number of red instants and sorcery cards. 
We could just blast them with Slagstorm off the emblem. Or the ult or whatever we want to call this. This is paying off. Transformational sideboard. And there's been no fetches. None. Blood Moon's out. Didn't matter. What do you got for me, God of Destiny? Takes the ritual. 12 to 7. One red source. My opponent is uh, upset. I, I think I would too if I only had two. If I only had two lands, I think my uh, opponent. I don't know what MOL means though. Um, and they said you won MOL. But I do agree. Turn seven and only two lands. It's, that's not very good. That being said, the deck plays kind of light on lands because they have these spells. Just like we play light on lands because we have these spells. All right, 2-0, good start. Ditched the bridge, paid off, played the Rabble Master, got smacked, had that mom dog showing up, taking a win. Whew, good start to the night. I needed that. Oh, loosen up the neck, getting in there with the red prison. But yeah. Taking that bridge out, like you said, Ty, Ty pad me. We were thinking we could because we were going to be aggressive and certainly paid off. It's just nice to have an extremely proactive sideboard for control or that mid-range battle. And then if we have an aggro one, we're pretty good. We can, we can bring in a little bit to lower the curve if we need to, but we treat it more like blockers. Why I have the spyglass in the cages? Well, cages are for dredge. Spyglass is because, I don't know. I figured I'd beat them before they do anything. Let's play first. Uh, Maze Mine's kind of nice. Let's try it. This is kind of a weird hand to try. I have an acceleration for this Chandra here. I feel kind of good about the Maze Mine Tome, though, to help me filter. I don't think it's worth a ritual out, but I think it could be worth it in the long run here to help filter. A Maul on the draw, yes. I'm thinking that because I'm on the play, I have kind of this nice acceleration for Chandra on turn three. Uh-oh, they disconnected. All right, we'll bring this up. MOL is foreign to you. It was all caps, but then all of their words were caps. This is a good test for a tome. If it's burned, the tome could gain us a little bit of life. Uh, the tome's going to try to filter and avoid, basically. We're good at the four lands. We could go to six, but I don't really need to. We have the Simeon, so we can kind of do that filtering about two a turn, scry through. But we'll see if we get to. We'll, get, we'll see if we get to. I just realized the chat, I have my arena chat on. Let's see if I can adjust that so the chat stays up a little bit longer. Properties. Here, we'll just always, there you go. Now if we chat, it stays there in a weird box. That box isn't so bad. I'm not gonna flicker between the two uh, boxes when I switch between the two clients, but I can switch it so it doesn't disappear. Disappearing is just frustrating sometimes. All right, well, I hope Brendan2000 comes back here. We wanna try this. We'll, uh, we'll see if we get lucky and get to. My opponent immediately lost the connection though after they mulligan, so um, not good, not good. Do, 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 
I just realized my followers and my subscribers are not updating on there. Let me see if I can get that to refresh. They should. Hey, look, it updated as soon as I opened the thing. I have to open this little client thing. Look, radio size Jesse, last god, dogfight, this little thing. It's supposed to be built in, but. There we go. We're two away from 2,400, and we've dropped a few subscribers recently. <clears throat> But that's okay, because monthly things happen and people have to resubscribe. Consider checking your Amazon Prime now. Also, if you have Amazon Prime now, go watch the world's toughest race. We're watching that, it's pretty sweet. While we're waiting, okay. Sure, why not? History of the Night, Copter Build. The format is modern. Champion, other knights, Knight of... Knight of the Holy Nimbus. Thalia, Lieutenant, White Shield. Not familiar with this one. Pro Black, Exemplar, Path. I want to bana banish, bana what's the Marshal? Oh, he's back. I want a Marshal in this list. Um, I don't know if uh, the Lord here makes sense to splash the red. Banalish, yeah, Banalish. I want a Banalish. I don't want Force of Virtue. I would do an Anthem, two uh, Marshals. My opponent rejoined the game. This looks good though, I like the Copter personally. I don't know how good Copter is in the meta. I think it can get picked off. Um, I almost would tell you to go Naya and throw four collected companies in there. The other things you can do is like play, uh, if you wanna go a little more mid range, you can do a Gideon Ally of Zendikar or even just little Gideon, uh, Gideon of the Trials isn't too bad either. They lost connection, then they rejoined. I hope they come back. Uh, were there vials in there? Then the vials are good. You want to try Coco? I think you can try a vial deck or you can try a Coco deck. I like the Thalia's uh, Lieutenant in there to you kind of buff things because they, they're most knights are human knights um i wonder if i have my knight list it's been a while mm. so this is my knight list that we played Cavern of Souls. Cavern of Souls. There you go. Um, this will be named. Where's a good screenshot? This is good enough. Waiting for my opponent. Um, this was our list. Brave the Elements was in here because most of your creatures are white. There's Banalish Marshall. Knight of the White Orchids, a nice ramp spell. Um, we had four histories because they were pretty good. Knight Exemplars are in here. I know this is a little bit blurry. Student of Warfare is in here to lower the curve, four paths, Dauntless Bodyguard to protect things. You could play the dog now as well, the selfless dog. But I think Dauntless was a, uh, I think Dauntless is a knight. Yeah, I would try Copter. Copter is probably some really good filtering. Really good filtering. I would definitely, uh, I would definitely run it uh, with the Copter and give it a shot. We did that with Blue Burn as well. And the amount of fixing the copter provides you is, is exceptional if you can get it going. My opponent's connected and rejoined now three times. They must be having internet problems because I don't think I am. No frames dropped. We looking good. Looking hot. Thank you for the deck redeem though. How has Maze Mind been in these lists? Conceptually, it seems like just what the deck needed. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, is it the best thing? Is it what we want to be doing? I don't know. Uh oh. Hi. <clears throat> All right. 
Their CPU has been funny. Hmm. All right, Bloodstain Mire. Cracking this. Well, I hope they don't take the Maze Mind. I really don't think it was worth a ritual out here, though. Well, then. They might take Chandra. I don't know what this crazy person's gonna do to me. Blood Moon, Ritual Out would be the thing that Trump's playing the Maze Mind, but apparently we're not getting to do that option. Ritual Spell, come on, one time. Ritual Spell into Heart of Fire. All right, well, I can't really put the Chalice on two immediately. Chalice on one seems okay. Um, Oh, they right click to check Maze Mind Tome and then it took it. Whoops. I mean, I think it's actually an okay take, but that might mean they don't have much for the Chandra here. We're looking for bridges at this point. This appears to be Jund. Jund. Stumping ground. And this is why we would have ritualed out a Blood Moon if given the opportunity. Scavenging news. I sort of feel like this is a good time to Chandra down tick and kill this because the Chalice is on one. It might put Chandra in a little bit of a weird spot against like a K command, but keeping the board clear, at least for another turn here, gives us more time to find answers. Our opponents have not have been very talkative today. I keep the chat off the screen, but this opponent is really talking it up right now. Liliana? There she be. This is why we have Spyglass. All right, we discard a land. Fatal push, two unknowns. Land, up we go. Looking for something at four, perhaps. Oh, return why? <laughs> Can you imagine if we would have gotten this one down with the Chandra and the Liliana? Ooh. This is a shame that this showed up then, not later. One turn later, we would have been good. Opponent decides to go Peatland here, looking for something to do. Raging Ravine tapped in a stomping ground, going up with Liliana. We lose the mountain. They lose a fatal push. Liliana at five, making me a little bit worried here. Yes, please. Let's get this Liliana over there in check. We're going to go ahead and hit Liliana for two. Hitting Liliana for two. That way I have two Chandras and I can go digging next turn. Chandratron. <laughs> when they come in pairs, they come in pairs. Inquisition ditched here. Tap lands. Liliana at four. Raging Ravine's here. Raging Ravine's going to get checked hard here. We're gonna do a Blood Moon here. I kind of want to go up here, find some answers. Although at three, maybe it's not a good idea. Ooh. Let's go ahead and discard and find some cards. We find a land here. We find a Maze Mind and a Bridge. I think in the current state, because they won't have green here, we're gonna Maze Mind. We'll leave Bridge to be devoured later. <clears throat> At end step here, we're going to Maze Mind to draw a card. Looking to win with valuable creatures here. Season Pyromancer is a good one. Good start. Chandra's regulator. <laughs> Mr. Jangles, wrong. Wrong. Wrong, wrong place. Heart does discard hand, exile three, and you can play. It does two damage, or it goes searching and blasts your opponent with spells, which we're not going to be doing that part of it. All right, let's go ahead and draw a card. Um, yeah, we can just take the normal draw here. Mountain. Okay, put that into play. I think I'll go ahead and Ritual here. We'll use Chandra. I think I want to use this Chandra. Do I want to hit anything for two? 
I gotta watch this Liliana here. Let's just go up with this Chandra here. Slag Storm. Three damage to each creature. <laughs> uh, let's hit this for two, and we'll look to draw a card at the end step. <laughs> oh, each player discards. What are we playing here? Season Pyromancer? Season Pyromancer again. And end step here, we're gonna go ahead and draw a card. Let's let's go ahead and take another draw here. Just draw, 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 draw as much as we can. This is art. All right, so now we can put a bridge down. One, two, three, four. I hit this for two, keep that in check. I can Blood Moon, Magus. I can Magus Bridge here. Magus Bridge, hit this for two. Keep that in check. I could also kill the Season Pyromancer here. If I kill the Season Pyromancer, maybe I Simeon and Magus of the Moon trying to basically throw all my bodies at it next turn. I sort of like this line. I don't need to cast the bridge. Cool. All right, and we'll stop on our upkeep. I'm probably gonna draw again. We're just trying to churn out tons of value with the Maze Mine, and actually with the Liliana here, it's been really nice. You like building the bigger board also? Yeah, I don't think Bridge is necessary here. Opponent's been kind of drawing a card and being able to play one thread a turn. They're off green. A uh, Glorybringer would be a little bit annoying here. Maze Mind is looking really good. All right, we discard our bridge. Now they can activate a Season Pyromancer here. So the question would be, what do they want to do with that? I think um, we can just Maze Mine. Maybe Chandra, search, blast them for a bunch. Oh, they are, they're done. Actually, this is a lot of garbage we were about to draw. <laughs> uh, so if we maze mine, we draw this, we draw this. If we upticked and then we did this, we'd be able to hit this. We would get that far deep. So this is the draw, natural draw. This is the maze mine draw. This is the uptick with Chandra. This is the, I don't want any of this discard. And one, two, three, and then have a Chandra with six mana? No, we'd have we'd have only four. Well, we'd have five. We'd actually have six because I would exile this in response to this. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, Hazard's really good in this matchup. <laughs> I'm going to bring everything in. Everything. I want all of this. How are you liking the Maze Mine in the Classic list? Ah, it's been pretty good here so far. It's been pretty good. I think I want to just run 73 here. Can I do that? Uh, I want all of this. I just want to be like super aggressive against my opponent. It does have an aggro transformational sideboard here. The problem is the aggro transformational sideboard is mainly so when Blood Moon is not good or my opponent's control but i could like ditch the bridge and i could ditch the chalice here i could i could i could literally do this i could i could i could literally do like i could almost just like do this and give it a shot like they're gonna bring in things that remove artifacts. And so if we just go, let's ignore that. Let's play Blood Moons really fast. And then if not, let's just smash. We like taking out a Ritual. Ritual is how I'm gonna get a uh, fast Blood Moon against them. I guess they're a, a Thought Seize deck. We could, we could take a Ritual out. I 
I just want to try this. I think this could be like a good idea against a deck like this. Now, Maze Mine did a lot of work there, so maybe Maze Mine's the card I should be leaving in and not go with like the Storm Breath or something. Xenowan, what's up? All right, like this is interesting. So I can board wipe, I can get an Eidolon, I can get a Blood Moon. Let's keep this against Thought Seize Man. Do it for science or pop tarts? <laughs> for science or pop tarts? <laughs> Looking good. Let's take off this stop. Way too many lands now. What's interesting though is I can play Eidolon and that might get my opponent interested in that card. Very interesting to see a Raging Ravine from our opponent knowing that I can ritual out a fast Blood Moon. So far so good, Blood Moon can steal this. Can steal this, Eidolon here. Go ahead. I'm afraid of a Liliana. A bit afraid of a Liliana here, but I guess that means that I'll just have to battle a Liliana. No Liliana, no double black. Does have basic force here. Interesting, interesting start here. We're paying the cost of something. This means Blood Moon should be clear to get down here. Season Pyromancer, opponent takes some damage and we have a flag storm to take care of this. We're gonna go ahead and shut them off of black. Discards a pair. Lily Wooded. We've decided we don't want to fetch with the wooded. Maybe they only have one forest. Alas. All right. Blood Moon down past turn. We're not going to attack. This is a good card to see. All right. Each of us takes damage every time something's played. Eidolon's back to block the elemental. We'll take two if they attack. Good with that. Now I want to trade. I want to trade, but at the same time, I almost don't have to. Hmm. True King, Twitch Prime for six months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Hmm. Do we block this? Do I care? Here. Let's take two. We're Punisher now. We're Punisher. Tarmogoyf? Three mana. Another season pyramid. Ooh, Slagstorm looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. <laughs> I might Slagstorm before I even try this Chandra here. Chandra's pretty safe from a Thought Seize. Liliana and a K Command ditched here because of the, the lack of black here. Oh my gosh, I could just double idle on them and just laugh. All right, let's go to combat here. We'll see if they want to double block for me and be so kind. Then I'll use a slag storm. We can play Chandra and then Eidolon as well. They let the two go through. That's fine. We'll be at 14 all in a clear board. All right. Cool. 16 all on a clear board. <laughs> Little worried about having two season pyromancers in the in the the bin here. Obviously, with the fifth land here, they can start making some tokens. We'll see if it punishes us. Four mana, blood braid spins the wheel. Oh, thought sees off the blood braid. Great hit. It was a good hit. Oh, great hit. I had to clear the board. All right, in for three. Let's see how many blood braids they've got here. Eidolon into play past turn. I need them to not have a bolt for the Eidolon, otherwise we'll die pretty quickly to the blood braid elf. We're actually in a position where a bridge wouldn't be bad, although I need to get rid of my two lands in hand as well. Bolts the Eidolon and hits for three. 12 to 10. Do they have a follow-up? The answer be no. Yes. No. Maybe. 
Uh-oh. Follow-up. Tarmogoyf? Tarmogoyf, 6-7. This is 9 damage. Need a bridge right here. Oh well, my. Game is done. All right. All right. I won't concede because I could top deck a bridge. Could top deck a bridge. There's already a land over here. They could obviously top deck a bolt. Going to one. Looking for our singleton out of a bridge. We have four of those. One and four shot. One and four. <laughs> four and 47. All right. I'm not really sure having that Chandra there would have helped. We would have been able to dig maybe four more cards. So let's look four. Look, I looked seven. All right. So, bridges. <clears throat> bridges were out. Fluffy. Oh, my bad. Let's bring some bridges back in. On the play, we'll play Magus here. Let's do less Eidolons this time around, and let's bring a couple of the Chalices back in. Pair of Chalices, Bridge. No, let's do let's do two Maze Mines here. Cool. All right, more things to ritual out of Fast Blood Moon. We have the Blood Moons. If it's a Magus, it's a bit of a weaker one because of the Chalice. Not going to play the Chalice because I'm expecting Abrupt Decay and Assassin's Trophy here. I'm going to play Maze Mine to see if we get lucky with that. The starting hand's really weak. Let's mulligan this. Maybe a Ritual should have come back in. All right, don't ask why I kept this hand. Science, mathematical equations. Opponent's gonna fetch basics. Here comes the Thoughtseize. No Thoughtseize, hey? Eh? No Thoughtseize, hey? Eh? Okay. Double Bloodstain Mire here. So why do we keep this hand? Because it's going to win the game. wonder if I play Chandra first or I play Hazard first. Chandra gets damage in. Another ritual effect, I Chandra this and then we have Hazard smacking in. Liliana's annoying. Let's not play into a Liliana. Let's just play this, see if they have an Assassin's Trophy. Assassin's Trophy means I get to play Chandra Heart next. Up for two. Rabble Master. Bye-bye. Go ahead, opponent. One Thoughtseize will ruin... Oh. Thoughtseize would have ruined a lot of things this game. We're almost hoping for a Liliana here, and then Hazard swing at Liliana. Maybe. We'll see. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Swamp, swamp, forest probably. We've decided to play something on turn three. We did the same. Good, good turn three magic. Should have just started with three cards in the in the, in the play. Stomping grounds have been chosen here, shocking it in, going to fourteen. And Burden Catacombs is going to be correct here as well. And we're going to get a three drop. K Command's not interesting here, Liliana. Liliana is kind of interesting. At the same time, though, like Liliana did Chandra here. I get to play land, hazard it, and swing with two extra damage. Five, six, seven. Are we going to just pulse this? So it is Sh Liliana. So hazard kills Liliana pretty easily here. And then Hazard, it's a lot of damage going forward. You like ditching the land? If I don't ditch the land here, and I'd hit a spell, 
I'm not going to be able to swing with Hazard, which I suppose then I can play Chandra Heart. So I suppose the gemstone's worth the ditch here. If we hit a ritual or something else, I can hazard swing at Liliana or them. All right, we'll go with land ditch here. We hit a bridge. We hit a bridge. I'm thinking Chandra here. Have two threats on the board. I wonder if I have to hit this Liliana if I do that, or if I just start going at them. Just play the Chandra here, and then just ping them, and then both of them. Ping, ping. I think there's very little we can mess up here. Well, let's ping them. And then probably when they uptick here, we get rid of Bridge, and then we can like play Hazard. Mom, dog coming in, crashing in, smashing in. Because if they play Thoughtseize this turn, then they can only at maximum play a 3-drop. Then we hit them for 4 damage here. So we have, what, a Tarmogoyf? Two, three, Goyf. Bridge puts an artifact into the bin here. They're likely to put a creature. This will grow Tarmogoyf quite nicely. Do I have to play the bridge now? I have to play the bridge because the Hazret, they probably play creature. If they put a creature in, this is a 3-4. I put the bridge in, it's a 4-5. Hazard could kill. Liliana down tick. If I hit a land here, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ceiling for what could happen if I hit a land is really high here. Basically forcing the Tarmogoyf block. I guess I, I ditch a bridge here. <laughs> Ancient Grudge hits the bin. <laughs> it's an instant, so actually Tarmogoyf didn't grow. We hit the land. Mom dog swinging in. We have lethal here. They must block with Tarmogoyf. I could even like Chandra down tick here. If I Chandra down tick, the scary thing is if they bolt in response. It's threatened lethal here. I'm being asked why I was able to cast this off of this the following turn, and I just told him I drew it, so. Okay, so Mom Dog doing her thing. Um, I think I go two damage here, two damage with the Chandra. Based on where we're at, I, 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 don't, I don't foresee too many things going wrong here. We have an Emblem Chandra possibility here. We have the Attack of Hazard. This is probably down ticking here. We have this two damage as well. It's a lot of things. Um, Bloodbraid Elf would be kind of annoying here. Looking at three, four, so Bloodbraid Elf. Huntmaster, ooh. Ooh, Huntmaster, okay. So this is just like Emblem here and then go see if I can hit two spells. If I hit two spells, we win. 
I had two spells. I have a Chandra and I have a Blood Moon. Good game, everyone. Good game. Woohoo! Hmm. That felt really good. <laughs> really good. Oh. Two o two one. I am slowly falling in love. My heart is on fire. I don't need to be awakened. Who wants to be a grouchy person in the morning? Just that simmering heart. Mm. It's looking good. Chandra, a heart of fire has been on fire here. Let's play first. Tome's been decent as well. A little more free when esque Oh, I know, Zale. I know. I know, Zale. You also know that I get, like, really antsy about suggesting something without hard evidence. Is Karn the Great Creator too slow in the current meta? I don't know. This will be an interesting matchup here. Ritual effect, please. Blood Moon. Boggles. Ritual effect? Simeon, desperate. Simeon, desperate. Simeon, desperate. Missed him. All right. Maze mind. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> All right. As long as they don't pump the scout too large here, we should be good. We'll blood moon and then clear this all going out here. Horizon canopy. Ethereal. Oh, don't do it to me. Oh, it's a 5-3. Oh, oh, we win, I think. Gonna scry here. If we were needing a land here, the double scry is really nice. I'm just bottom of land. I don't need another land. I've got plenty of lands. All right, Blood Moon down past turn. Don't have basic. Don't have basic. Don't get outside of slags from range. The idea here is that Blood Moon should stop everything and I have a turn and can take the scout out. Probability of them having a basic land here is real low. A bit like Infect, they don't have too many basics. Obviously they shouldn't concede here because they have a Hexproofer. They probably think I'm trying to find Bridge at this point. One turn too late for Simeon. Just notice the notification wide, we become ducks. Or ducks. Why wouldn't we be ducks? All right, here we go. My opponent is going to have the mutagenic growth, and I'm going to throw something across the floor. All right, now we don't have to stop because now I can start drawing. Oh, look, Marin ducks. All right, looking for bridge to close this game out. They'll be looking for a basic on their side. Oh, no creature. Woo! No creature, thank goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and ritual out here, and let's go ahead and use the page counter thing. Draw, gain a little bit of life too, never a bad thing. Slam the bridge, watch the concession. Woo! Concession? We play on. By the way, Maze Mines already dug us, what, four cards deeper? Oh, anger. Oh, oh, jealous. <laughs> All right. We're pretty main decked for this. Um, Chandra Waken Inferno is going to come out. Spyglass to lower the curve slightly here. I don't know if I want Rabble Masters in this matchup. Rabble Master? I'm wondering over the like Chandra Heart of Fire, but a Chandra Heart of Fire is good with the bridge. The reason to get rid of the Heart of Fire and go a little bit lower with Rabble Masters or something is just lower curve a little bit more helping the bridge problem. 
I think it's just Heart of Fire here. Heart of Fire can obviously get us empty pretty fast. Bridge is very powerful in Boggles. I think this is it. Submit. Yeah. Well, and what's funny, Grayus, is that Boggles is so much easier for us to lock out because Infect, and I treat them similar, single creature bash in for tons of infect or normal damage um their creatures are so much larger in boggles where infect can slide under the bridge real quickly and and knock you knock you on your back all right game two here with boggle friend playing some red prison the heck is this? One, two, three, four. Oh, Blood Moon. I, I agree with you, Mr. Jangles, but I have a feeling they're going to have a basic here. Fetch land basic, show me it. Ooh, horizon canopy. Oh, what is it? Mm, scout. All right, we got a 1-1 one, one scout to beat here. Please land. I'm gonna need him. Please land. If you kept a 4-4 four, four drop hand versus John, no, I had to put one of those cards back. And it wasn't a 4-4 four, four drop, it was Hazard, Chandra, and Heart. Two four drops and a five drop. We're in our upkeep. Opponents stopped us, making us ponder life. Reconsider our turn one play. Reconsidering. Pondering. Oh, we had a Magus too. I think I slam a Magus here. Because I think that's actually better. Because it dodges Vigor. They could have a random Dismember in there, but that one seems a little unlikely with what we showed them. And I don't think they attack now, so we actually stop the attack here. I don't need to rush anything out here, and I think think I'm okay to go ahead and attack. Let's put the pressure on my opponent. Let's go, opponent. That's right. Take your two. No fear. Throw the Magus in. In for a point. I love it. We got aggressive. They got aggressive. I love it. Land. Oh. Game's getting stronger. One more and we're done with them. We'll be moving on to match four. One more land. Kept the one lander, flooding out nice and timely. Are we attacking again? Oh, we're getting in there. Mad respect for the boggle player. Land. This game's over. This game is over, ladies and gentlemen. The heart coming down, sealing the deal. We play on. We play on. Part of me wants to slam the blood moon, make a statement here that I had it covered. I had it covered every single way, opponent. <clears throat> In for additional two. Opponents at 11. 18 to 11. Chandra, blood moon, Magus, four lands and a blood moon in hand against a scout and two horizon canopies. Locking it up. Locking it up. Being just aggressive enough. So we would have hit a mountain played it. We would have upticked this. We would hit maze mind. Maze mind bridge. <laughs> Guess I play maze mind bridge. <laughs> Ooh, there went all my luck. All right, good. Good 3 0. All right, let's just tank from here. <laughs> I'm happy. Are you happy? 
Happy Monday. Playing the Red Prison. Been a bit. We have Red White Lockout and Red Black Midrange from our previous stream last Wednesday going up on YouTube. Go check that out if you're interested. The link is in Discord from Nightbot. Here we go. Match four. They've been relatively decent matchups so far, so we'll see if we uh, can continue this. By the way, we're on the play again. Uh, we'll keep this bonkers hand. It's not really bonkers. It's just, it's like, it's like pair, pair, and three of a kind. It's actually a full house right here. Opponent kept seven. That's really good for them. Down with the mountain pass turn. I agree with you, Uncle DB. We, we drained all of our luck. It's going to be a 3-2. Oh. We got to wish the good luck have fun. If we don't do that, we'll be... Oh. Okay. Okay. Vile. Vile. All right. Horizon Canopy. We looking at humans? If it's humans. If it's humans, it's a really good matchup for us. <laughs> We're like main decked for it. Ghost Quarter, Charming Prince. All right, looks like Blood Moon's gonna come up first. That way they just play off file. I have two bridges here. I'm <clears throat> feeling pretty good that I'll be able to <clears throat> play one of those down even if they were to steal one. Blood Moon first. That's a little ways away. <laughs> Green White Taxes. If it is green white taxes, this could be a little bit difficult for us. Things that could be very difficult for us to beat would be Thalia. Thalia kind of slows things down for us really nicely. Give her runes off of the Aether of Isle on one. Vile goes up to two. That's our only interaction probably with us. Luckily, I get to play a bridge next. See if I can hit an extra creature here. Bridge down, then we'll we'll look at getting this slag storm. How's the stream? It's going good, calcium. It's going good. It's what you are, right? I didn't just botch that, did I? Oh, love it. Nice. Sarah Avenger. I love it. We have a Aether Vial on three here. All right. So we can empty the bridge here. It's dangerous to do so. I think I want to go ahead and get Chandra out and hit the Giver. The following turn, I can Slagstorm the board away. I'm being told Sarah's been good. Now, I don't want to uptick with this Chandra here. The reason I don't think I want to is, if I'm really honest, maybe this is a Slagstorm turn here, like Slagstorm and just pass with four cards in hand. I'm afraid of a three with a Flicker Wisp. I'd like to get the second bridge down if possible. If I play the bridge now... This saves this, they lose these two. We have a 3-3 and whatever this is coming down. If I play Slag. So I save three life here. I could be taking like six-ish. If I play Bridge here, I'm going to hit for three, four, five, six. We'll assume seven, eight, nine-ish. But then I can play Chandra and clear the hand next turn. Let's play bridge here past turn, hoping that they don't somehow find a planes and put a Thalia into play. And we're gonna take probably about nine damage here. Second bridge though with the Chandra should be good. I'm thinking. Oh shoot. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Oh, shoot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Quick math. I think I'm good still. 
Woo. Oh. It's not dead. Gosh, that's a lot of damage though. All right, heart. Heart of cards. We're just gonna play Chandra in here. That's what we're gonna do. We're at two. Empty the hand. And two bridges, I feel safe from a Flicker Wisp. We, go, we do go over an Anger though. <laughs> Anger and a Chandra Torch of Defiance. We got we got a little ways to go here. That being said, I could use this to start picking some stuff off, which might not be a bad idea. This does have hexproof though. <laughs> they had it all. <laughs> Ah, uh, I had it all. I got killed. Whoa. I got smashed in the teeth. <laughs> I got smashed, completely punched in the face. Oh my gosh, deputy main board, not flicker wisp. Oh my gosh. All right, spyglass in, chalice out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got completely wrecked. Decimated. I mean, we're basically main decked for this. Storm Breath Awakened. Deputy is un amazingly underplayed. I, I, I could see that. I could, I could definitely see that. Uh, all right. Someone's telling me to play crazy stuff with this. I'm going to just leave it basically the same. Now that we know what we're playing against, we can keep an appropriate hand. Although that first hand was pretty good against them. Uh, Sarah got in there and then Geist. I mean, you know. Chalice is, but I don't have really anything else I want to be bringing in. I know some people are going like bring Storm Breath or Chandra, but I don't want that many like huge drops here. I don't. I don't want. I don't. Want, oh yes. Oh. Oh yes. Mm, yes. All right. We got this one. <laughs> yes. Come at me, opponent. Our one of sideboarded card is here. This would be a matchup for a Torp War, by the way. We don't have any of those. I left home without them. I should be punished for doing so. Seacomb Coast. Giver of Ruins. All right. Well, we'll see what the hand is so we have at least what we're playing against. The frick are you? What are you doing in here? Fluffy, you abandoned me. We were playing Skelmantle Kitties. <laughs> I think I still name Aether Vial here. Like, just because I have the Magus and Blood Moon effects here. But my gosh, they've got Luris as well. This opponent's just like value one through three drops. At times we're different financially, I would sub instantly. In the meantime, have a duck. Ducks are good. Ducks are good and appreciated. Torp orb. Torp orb. I'll take a duck. Please don't sub if you can. Please don't. We have a scry one top, one bottom here. In for point? No. Okay. Ah, uh, this is a good card to see. I think I want to play Blood Moon here. I think it might be safer with just a basic island over there. I think Magus could get kind of like something strange happen to it. We'll see though. In for three. We're racing now. Ritual effect, I get to play Chandra here. And I will do so. 
I don't need to play Bridge yet. We'll get rid of Giver first. We'll get rid of Charming Prince. We'll get rid of Luris. We're going to get rid of everything they play. Your turn to get Punished Opponent. Blood Moon looks really good in this matchup. Bam, two. Look at that. The team coming in clutch. Thank you, Uncle DB, for that. Gifted sub. Now you get these sweet emotes that you can use all over Twitch. Oh my gosh, there's a bunny. You know what wolves do to bunnies? We eat them. I mean, they're our best friends. I'm going up with this Chandra. Oh, 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 another Chandra. <laughs> I guess I'll play the bridge. I guess it's one more thing for them to get through. Yeah, let's just do this. We're winning through Planeswalkers, typically. It's now a bridge and two Blood Moon effects plus Spyglass here. What's up, Bolus? How's it going? How's Evan doing? I've been trying to follow Evan, uh, but all I see is go live, not go live. Insomnia time? All right, Bolus, count to 3,000. You got this. I trust... You can count to that 3,000 and get there, man. I believe in you. No changes here. Chow someone if we can. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Maze Mind, Tomes, been okay. Slagstorm, Anger, Blood Moon, and Bridges are what we'll look for. Him. No, no, no. Quietly. In your in your head. In your head. Let's, uh, and I said two 3,000, so not down from. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, continue with the beat. One at a time, and again, and again. Slowly, find yourself falling asleep, quietly. 23, 24, 25. Evan was playing Teamer at Merge. Not sure how he was doing. Uh, all right, this is a fantastic hand. We're gonna play Hearthstone now. Hmm, all right, we can keep this, probably get rid of this, because I think Chandra Torch is better here. We'll see if we can't get a Blood Moon and a Chandra down. Hopefully they don't start with an Aether Vial. Also, it gets our six drop to the bottom. Look at this. This opponent's been great. This could be my first 5 of ever, so keep that in mind. This could be my first 5 of many weeks. Keep that in mind. <laughs> By the way, they, they had the vial. And they have the basic island. And we shall see, shall fight to the death of my friend. Look at this opponent. This guy's great. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the good one over there. I could Chandra on turn two. Is it worth it? No. All right. Dream Crush? I don't know. They've got the vial. They've got the basic. Mm, I don't know. We saw Geisty. Someone did gift you a sub. You made a cup of tea. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Dodge. Dodge. Chandra Heart of Fire has been named. Dodged. We dodged. All right, so we have two basics and the two basics they care about. Blood Moon's not looking as interesting anymore. Let's go ahead and go all the way up here. I'm gonna play a Chandra into play, hoping that they don't have a one drop here, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot the meddling mage. They have a one drop, the one drop comes in and kills the Chandra, but we have a backup Chandra, looking okay. If this is not a one drop, then we get to start digging with this card. I'm a bit afraid of a Geist or something else on three. I just gotta see. One drop, no one drop, paid off. Don't Geist me. If they Geist me, I've gotta find Bridge, Anger, or Slagstorm. It's our only outs. Oh. 
Okay, Horizon Canopy. No, no play here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, da, 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 da. All right, we'll just go up here. I don't think I need to be doing a Desperate Ritual and trying to hit a four drop. Um, at this point, I've got two four drops and I've got two five drops left in the deck. So it's probably not worth it. Oh, sorry, three four drops and, and two five drops. But I'm just gonna go up, try to hit bridge. If I miss a Blood Moon, they might cycle the Horizon Canopy. That's a really good one. Why you do this to me, deck? The other two, uh, there are three, four drops. Chandra Torch of Defiance, Chandra Torch of Defiance, because we have two in hand. Cop of the Hammer. Heart of Fire, Heart of Fire. And we already put Awakened and Awakens at the bottom. Relic here. The Relic Warder. Interesting. All right, so Chandra's going to die here. We could do Chandra Down Tick here. Looking for Bridge. Kind of interesting to see this take care of a Blood Moon when they have the two basics. Other than they just were like, hey, I got to get a 2 2 in. All right, Chandra dies. Spyglass would be nice. Stop this kind of ETB at end step. Sadless was placed on the stack. Spyglass, bridge, land. Okay. We can play Chandra down. We can go uptick. Putting ourselves uptick, we go to five. Probably keep Chandra Torch of Defiance around. And then I can anger next turn. Being that the Aether Vial is on two, I'm feeling safer that Chandra here should live. Most things will be bears. They could have Angel here, but I'm going to make the assumption they don't have Angel. Up, oh, Blood Moon's okay to pass over. They have the two basics. Don't have Angel. No Angel. Don't have Angel. Oh, nice. All right, what are they playing? What are they playing with? Put the vial up to three. Geist is an option here. In for two. I think we continue to try to bait more things out. In for two hits me for two. Okay. Deputy of Detention is pretty good. All right. Deputy of Detention. I can anger the gods here. Hopefully avoid a Flicker Wisp. And we'll get our uh, Chandra back. Maybe? No Flicker? I guess Flicker Wisp would give me this back anyway, right? Cool. And I guess we'll go up for damage. Hopefully not go over Heart. We don't. Simeon down. You're having a bowl of split pea soup? What a great day. A warm cup of tea, honey, a sprinkle of prison, and a nice people. Oh, it's Geist. Oh, this Geist is going to wreck me. There goes Chandra. Why do that when you've got a pithy needle? Do I have any artifact removal now that I think about it? So now I have to hit a Anger or Slagstorm where we die in three turns. This being turn one, not turn zero. Oh man, I need an anger, slag, storm, or bridge. Your move, opponent. Your move. I am running out of win conditions, though, by the way. Disenchant. Just, just wreck my heart, opponent. They're built to beat us. We need running bridges. Moto Shuffler, clump them together. One time, right here, back to back bridges. Bridge. Bridge. 
they threw out the GG. Can't decide if that was because I've now locked them or because it was preemptive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Tricky 13, 5 0. When you see it on Reddit, give them the GGs. They were a good opponent. Woo, a back and forth. The back and forth. Would Koth have done anything? It's tough to say. Probably not a lot. Might have kept the, the Relic Warrior. Woo. Dang. That was good. That was good. What a deck. Avenger, Geist, basically is taxes, but not doing taxes. They're, they're basically just going blue-white value aggro creatures. I love it. We're currently 3-1 playing Red Prison. <sighs> My heart's been going up and down. Need to drink some water. You should hydrate too. I might have Uncle DB. Eating those Pop Tarts gives me some amazing power. By the way, I think we played first every single one here. Look at this hand. This is one incredible hand. Um, Mulligan. <laughs> there we go. It's a little bit better. I don't know what I'm playing against. We're going to go ahead and keep. We're going to ditch the Slag Storm here. Hope it's not a creature deck. Chalice on one, uh, Blood Moon right after. Look at Froze. Okay, it's a creature deck. It's not very good for us. Champion. All right, we're still gonna put the Chalice on one. This will stop a, this will stop, <clears throat> excuse me. This will stop Aether Vial and Noble currently. No cavern. If I get one more turn here with Blood Moon, we're good. If they make black here, I'm dead. If it's Thalia, I play Maze Mind. Lieutenant, play Blood Moon. All right, we're going to need an Anger or Slagstorm. We have three in the deck because the fourth one's at the bottom of the deck. Can play Chandra to down tick on here. They do have the white mana, so they're in good shape from that point. We'll probably be looking for a bridge as well soon. Let's go ahead and shut them off, make it so they only play. Creatures of the white variety. Four damage a turn, maybe just a bit more, depending on what they have here. Oh, or maybe a whole ton more. Thalia's lieutenant here is going to grow champion out of range of Chandra here. So we're going to get hit for eight. So I'm probably Chandra down tick on this. Blood mo or bridge here. Bridge gets me out of this. No bridge. I do have to kill something here. Unfortunately, I don't get to kill the, the champion. So kill the 3-3. Three, three. There's six damage here. Hoping for no follow-up Thalia Lieutenant. <sighs> Wishing I had that slag storm now. But we didn't know. Didn't know. Oh, don't have it. Ten damage. Ten damage. Just champion the Thalia, Thalia, Thalia. It's crazy. It's crazy. Spyglass in, chalice out. Go. They wanted that game real hard. <laughs> real hard. 
All right, Bloodman's good, Anger Slagstorm Bridge is good. Uh, based on the matchups we've seen, I'd probably cut one Magus and put an Anger or Slagstorm extra in if you want to do this variation. Just something to keep in mind. Kind of happy with the Maze Mind. Season Pyromancer I would not put in this list, by the way. Just some, some initial deck tech thoughts before we finish up here. Match five, game two against humans. Everyone loves the big dragon. And just put that in there. They're like, big dragon, people notice. People notice. Mm. My head is splitting in half. It's... Heart of Fire has been gas. Absolute gas. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there, Uncle DB? Uh, I'm sorry that three is there. Four is about to eat three. I didn't fall for that trap. <laughs> three, two. Happy disco ball. Happy disco ball. You did it wrong. You gotta touch the three, two. Where is it? Oh, dude. I've got this one now. I guess I should be doing this, right? Somehow got that one. Da, 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 da. 32 seconds left. Opponent submits their deck. They got some water. Let's play first. It's hard not to. We have the Blood Moon here on turn two. We have an Anger if we need to. The Chandra's a little bit weak here because they can't cast him for a few turns. Hopefully I flood out here. Hopefully no Chalice. Cavern. Human. There's a Chalice. Well, I could make them play at Chalice speeds here. Let's go ahead and make them do that because I get another Blood Moon here. We need more Pepe's in the better Twitch TV section. I haven't messed with that in forever. I don't know how to set up Pepe Jam. Aether Vial on one. All right, glad we got a full house here. Noble Hierarch would be kind of a frustrating thing to see right here. Especially if they play then Thalia, not Lieutenant, Guardian. Play Thalia Guardian, it's gonna be a while before I get these angers going. Look, you've got Bolus Jams. White, red. Oh, Lieutenant's gonna grow things. We're playing another vial. Kite Sail Freebooter. All right, if we hit the land, we're good. We wipe the board. They're going to take an Anger, I presume. No need to take a Chandra, obviously. <laughs> if you take Chandra... Whoops, sorry, just blew out someone's ear. <laughs> Snap. That was a really good pop there, too. Land, come on. Oh, yeah. Who needs a land? Lands are for jokers. Just typing out. My explanation of why I went 3-2 after a great 3-0 start. Yep. Uncle DB jinxed me. Okay. And um, Bolus wanted Pepe Jams and distracted me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Diversification. And you're the gods named. This is a 3-3. Three, three. Come on, land. Don't play anymore. Phantasmal image. Thalia's lieutenant. I'm gonna die. Hits me for eight. Now the slag storm's just like a joke. It's just a joke.
Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good game, opponent. Good game. Started 3 0, got that solid 3 2, just like we deserved. Playing Red Prison. Called it the next gem because it's the next iteration that we've got here. Playing Heart of Fire and Awakened Inferno along with some Maze Mind Tomes. Eight, or sorry, seven Blood Moon effects. Maybe a little much. Probably can drop a Magus here. Transformational Cyborg didn't come into play too, too often, which means maybe we're on point with what the meta's doing. Maybe it just happens to be what we played against. Koth, mm, okay. A little bit underwhelming. I'd almost actually like just another Chandra Heart of Fire. If you're playing no Karn, I think this is getting close to where you want to be. If you want more creatures or want something in filtering, Season Pyromancer can be played in here as well. You could drop some of the Maguses, replace that. Yeah. Red Prison. Modern.